Hello! 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 But the bear, the bot, and the boy, not in order, are back with a guest. We, you may remember no. him from the Iceberg episode. Episode... Episode four? Four? Five? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We, we brought back Task, a.k.a. The Blocks. The Blocks, yeah. The Blocks. What are you going to say? I we reunited. that name now. Well, what name would you well, go yeah, with you now? Change. Change. Steve Benno was not you as relevant as it was today. Once yeah, you can change now if you want. It's like, up to you. Is Steve met a year ago? Man, remember when Steve wasn't a problem? I miss those days. Man. Oh, but yeah, what, what would be your new B? Has to be a B. Has to be, it has to it has to be a B. It has to be a B, because we've got we're the, the bear, th- the bot, the boy. We're the three Bs, but three with a guess, we're the four Bs. Fourth B. I mean, I can just be the box. See, that's <laughs> what I was thinking. All right, and the that, box right, that, that works. But I don't play box and ultimate, but I still use a box. You know, that's I fair. use two boxes. Two. He's nasty. He's man. the box. He's the box. So we've got the bear, the bot, and the boy in the box. Ooh. All right, Ooh. that works. Okay. That sounded a lot better than the blocks because it didn't really make that much sense. Well, yeah. why, why was it blocks? Be- because your, your Minecraft username was task something. Oh, and you were right, like, right, got right, my name right, from right, Minecraft. Right. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. yeah. But for our for our visual viewers, you'll notice something. We're, together. We're here. We're here in not person, anymore. in the flesh, in the flesh. We're not on Discord today. Not today. But we, we felt just, we're bringing it back. We're bringing that it back. to we celebrate got, bringing the podcast back. We're like, you know, let's get together. And we got we, banned on Discord. Uh, oh, we, don't mention it. We don't did. Oh, okay. It's a sore subject, guys. Yeah. Anyways, so you may have been wondering, where have they been? What's going on? Yeah, our last episode was almost a year ago. Coming up on it. We've I mean, had a whole season where we just didn't talk about stuff. Yeah. But we're here now. And we are ready to discuss. So, oh, we have a lot to talk about. We have a lot to talk about. Do we? About. Do we just want to start with summit and then? I think we. Sh- I think we should. Yeah. Start. Okay. We just had summit. We did. It was summit five, right? Five. Summit so five. One, it was two, the three, four, five. The fifth one. Um, and some pretty monumental stuff happened. It was. There was. A it lot. was one of the tournaments that we ran. Yeah, <laughs> it was a tournament that took place this year. So I enjoyed it. First no, time. it it was it was a very important tournament. It was it not was. only like for the season, but like for like SFSU as a whole. Oh yeah, yeah. So we'll start. I guess we can start from seventh place and move on. Or, or we can talk. We should probably bring up like everybody who was there. All right. So the people in attendance, it was and who wasn't there and who, who wasn't. Yeah, there. well, so we'll, get, we'll, wasn't we'll get to that. Oh, so man. the the people who were in attendance were. The, the three Bs, the bear, the bot, the boy, myself, Jake, and Alex. Uh, Ryan, Rye guy, he was he was there. He qualified, right? Or was he voted? No, he qualified. He qualified at Heat Wave 4. He qualified at Heat Wave 4. Which is the last open event we yep. had. Um, the Jonesville gang was there. They had some they had three reps. They had uh, Gamer, who qualified Heat Wave 3. They had Seth, uh, Chef says more, who qualified, qualified at... Clover Bash? It would have been Clover Bash because he got second there. Yes, yes, so qualified Clover Bash. And then Elzoid, Logan, who was voted in, who's one of the voters. Mm-hmm. That's. Well, quote unquote, voted in. Okay, because we, we only but, had two people opt in. But he, but hey, he, he made it in. He was there. He was there. And that's what matters. That's what matters. And who wasn't there? <laughs> exactly. Who wasn't there? What a segue. Um, our final participant was supposed to be flying in, Mason. But uh, he couldn't make it. For homework reasons and sleep schedule reasons, it was fix your fix your stuff, Mason. Did we confirm it was homework? Yeah, he stayed up That's until seven thirty. No, he had visa issues. Visa, oh, visa issues. issues. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> he couldn't <laughs> leave Ohio <laughs> in the second <laughs> Ohio man. <laughs> Ohio. <laughs> so what a, what a terrible place to be stuck in. <laughs> oh, I don't know where else I I would prefer. I don't know what's worse than being stuck in Ohio. I'll be honest. Uh, I'm not super sure. Also, no one's holding any questions anymore. Mario's. I'm not oh. gonna throw Mario. I would never do that to Mario. I throw Mario. Well, don't. You want to keep me down here? You I say. throw. All right. So in play, instead of of Mason, we had um, quote unquote the VIP. That's what we referred to as we were, on the graphic. On the but graphic. what ended up happening was Fuse Fennec, also known as Nick. Uh, we ended up being like 
Because this is, I think we had already played out all of the sets in Mason's group. Yeah. And so we were like trying to figure out what to do, and we were like, hey, Nick, you want to play for Mason? And he was like, sure. And he did. Mm. And then when it came to final bracket, Anthony ended up playing in Mason's place instead. Well, yeah. Because in final bracket, I was supposed to play Nick. And I told him, I was like, hey, man, you ready to play? He goes, can we not? And I was like, he just didn't want to play. play. And I was like, I was like, Oh, all right. And then it was like, Anthony, do you want to play? Like, you want to play in bracket? He goes, yeah, sure. I so just, Anthony ended up playing in final bracket. I just showed up playing friendly. Hello, numbers. Hello, oh. It was it, it was just funny because like we, we specifically told Nick we were like, you don't have to. Yeah. Like you you can say no. We'll just DQ Mason or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, uh, sure. And then final bracket came, and then he was like. I just don't want to. It's like, why did yeah. you say? And he's like, like why did you say? Yeah. But then he, even I talked to him. He was like, I didn't watch him the first place. I was like, I told you, you could yeah, say you no. Could have said no. You could have said no. Yeah. Said no. Yeah. So, uh, and I guess that's what we'll start with our placements. Was the VIP, quote unquote, the the joint efforts of a DQ Mason, Anthony, and Nick. Of us, should we also talk about how groups went? Oh, um, you're right. Because you're right. groups kind of like the precursor yeah. to the final so break. Groups, groups was interesting. Groups. A lot happened in groups. Uh, a lot happened in groups, but I also feel like a lot didn't happen yeah because well one group was kind of crazy and then the other group wasn't yeah so group a crazy. was the crazy group i, th I think if i'm picking up group a group. yeah that was so group jake a was me. jake myself ryan and logan yeah right and it was seated to go that no it was seated to go I, uh, oh, oh, hey gosh. you hey. can't be doing that hey. come here hey. and then myself and Lo logan were seated to make it out losers um Right, because Jake's was first seed, Ryan was fourth, I Wyatt, was you were fifth, fifth and then Logan was eighth seed. Yep. And uh, that's not how that it didn't go that way at all. <laughs> well, I mean, it went that way. Well, it for went that Jake. way for Jake. He, uh -oh. I think he three out everybody in his pool, right? Yeah. Yeah. He did. Did. three out everybody. everybody. I did. Um, then the second person to make it out winners was Logan. Actually, mm -hmm. he he be he lost to Jake three out and then beat Ryan and myself. Um. Which I'm still salty about, but you want to talk about it? I I, I, I mean, <laughs> source subject. I mean, source subject. Source subject. All right, we don't have we'll just say we'll just say he beat you. We'll get there. He, he beat me, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then so then me and Ryan both made it out loser side. Ryan, I don't think beat he he took games, but he didn't beat anybody in the pool. No. no. And then I only beat Ryan in the pool. So All right. So you and Ryan ended up going out loser, loser side. Oh, you yeah. beat Ryan in pools. I beat Ryan. Yeah. I, it was three one. You did it with all DK? I did. I it, was, the center arc. it was not Onward who was present at Summit. It was Adversize Day. It's kind of crazy because like, you beat them pretty good. Like The games you won were really solid. Mm -hmm. But like, I haven't been able to beat Ryan that good with DK yet. Mm -hmm. Or like I guess with any character in a while. Because like, yeah. I don't know. I just, I just, the way in center arc plays, I think it's just a personal matchup for me. Where yeah. it's like... <laughs> I shield. A, I like to sit and shield a lot. Incineroar likes it when you sit and shield a lot. Yeah. Yep. So uh, I guess it's just more of a personal thing, but I mean, it's actually good because I think there are some things in there that I could learn from. Yeah, for sure. So and Group B was was very cut and dry. Group B was mm -hmm. it was me, Seth, Gavin, and it was supposed to be Mason, but then Mason didn't show, so it was Nick. Yep. And then it. And that went exactly how it was supposed yeah. to Yeah. So I, I went 3 0. I only dropped one game, mm -hmm. and that was a Gavin. And then Seth went 2 1 like he was supposed to. Gavin went 1 2 like he was supposed to. And then oh. Nick went 0 oh, 3 like Mason was supposed to. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, nothing super crazy there, I don't think. And then uh, we got to bracket. And that's where. Bracket. That's where things got weird. Yeah. So we'll just start. A, just a little bit. A little weird. So we'll start in losers as most as most as we did in the past. Mm -hmm. And our seventh place finishers, Anthony. Uh, let's go. Um, who had to play me. God. Um, and that, that went. That was three one. Okay. How does he do it? So seventh place was Anthony. He had to. I think he had to play me right away, which was exactly how last summer went too. Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong. Third time in a row. Third Donkey Kong in a row. To knock you out a bracket? Or to both. Just oh. in general. No, just what was general. it? Last tournament I went from Donkey Kong to Donkey Kong. Oh. I played Alex and the Logan. 
Oh, yeah. And then this right. tournament. Wait, Logan played Donkey Kong? Yeah. 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 I, beat, I beat his ass in the Roy Ditto, and then he counterfeit me in Donkey Kong. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a personal That's messed up. It is messed up. <laughs> wow. Dang. Uh, I don't know how to solve your DK problem. Yeah, I don't know, man. No, it's already been solved. Oh. I'm just bad. That's fair. I've already, I played Alex in Ultimate Friendlies. I know how to fight Donkey Kong. That's fair. And I know what it was. It was the purple controller. Uh, yeah. No comment. Yeah, yeah, no comment. Yep. Yeah. He knows. He knows. I spent two fifty bucks on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and so, uh, and then the other seventh place was actually Gavin, and he lost uh, game five seven Ryan. Um, and coming off of a uh, third place at his last bracket, yeah, third kind of surprising. Game three. Well, he also didn't play Bowser, which I thought was super surprising. I was pretty surprised uh, too, honestly. Well, He's been flipping a lot, though. I was gonna say, you know, you know, Gavin. Gavin can never really pick one character and stick with it. Which, I mean, he's still trying to figure out who his main is, but I feel like he wants it to be Plant really bad. Yeah. Uh, but that character is just not good. That's the worst character in the game. Mm. We haven't we been talking about that. We have been talking about that for a while. Yeah, Plant's the worst in the game. Yeah. I'll die but, on that. I will, I will die on that. <laughs> next time we have a tier list episode, we'll to oh, revisit yeah. and look at oh, the old for sure. worst characters. Got it. But, um, so Gavin lost to game five to Ryan. Game five to Ryan in I think that it was all in the or plan. It was. Yeah. I feel like whenever those two play it usually is pretty close, but Ryan seems to get the edge on him yeah. a lot. Well I mean Ryan's up four oh on him this season, I think. Really? Really? Four oh I think so. Because he's, he's beaten them I think every time they every time they've played this season he's beaten them. They seem to play a lot this season too. Mm -hmm. Especially this season, yeah. I think last season they only played like once or twice. Like I feel but, like most People like other than like me, Jake, and Seth wouldn't have like that many sets played against one person. Yeah, but because especially when everyone's events are kind of like spread out a lot. Yeah, it's like it seems like they haven't really gone to t an event both of them mm -hmm. to the same event a lot this season. But when they do, they always seem to play. Yeah, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. I mean, like it's one thing in like the open brackets where we can like try and see that differently and yeah. make it not happen. It's but in a summit where it's like you're literally playing for your seed, yeah. it's like, that's right. just it's, how it it's goes. Gonna like, Gavin yeah. was supposed to play Logan there. Yeah. Yeah, but nope. That's how the bracket goes. That's how yeah. summit works. True. But yeah, good stuff to Ryan, mm. for sure, though. Oh, yeah. I think he was behind uh, whatever game. I think it was game three or game four. He was behind it to bring it back. Is what he yeah, was he was down two to one. Yeah, so he, so he, won, he won game oh, wow. four and five. Yep. So good stuff to him. Mm -hmm. um, and that wraps up seventh. seventh. Yeah, fifth place was myself and Ryan. Right. Yep. Yeah. So I lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I feel like before we talk about this, let's talk about, about this. what, yeah, what the matches about... in the winners bracket so, were. Yeah. So in winners, it was Seth wow. versus Jake mm -hmm. and Alex versus Logan. Mm -hmm. Logan took. I'm sorry. Alex took Logan out. Game five. Oh my god. Oh, it was close though. It was close. Oh, it was mad close. God. It was mad close. Wow. The set was so stressful because it's like, don't bite Diddy Kong. <laughs> it was so stressful because like, Logan plays very passive. Mm -hmm. Like, he plays in a way where he like, he wants you to have to force, like, interactions which kind of sucks. Especially for me, where I'm like, I just want to hold forward sometimes, and like I, I think that's one thing though. But I overall taken away from this tournament is just kind of like chill and like sit back more because like he would just like kind of like jump and like float in neutral. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I'm like, what do you what do you want from me? Well, because because <laughs> both your guys' game plans were very like, I guess. I don't know if passive is the right word to use. Passive. His, his is definitely passive. His is 100% passive. I think it was all bait and punish. Yeah. Really. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, there's just so much downtime where it's like, you know, you have Kirby floating above you mm -hmm. and you're just waiting for something to happen. Yep. Uh, but you guys are both not like over committing ever, it seems like. Yeah. I mm -hmm. mean, I don't know, when you get in, like when Logan got in, I think we talked about it, it was always like, he would get in, then when he's like on your shield, like he'll push as far as he can, mm -hmm. and then back off as soon as like he's able to get away scot free, you know. Right. It, it, it like his play style was like kind of like this weird middle ground where like his neutral was super passive, but like once I was in his threat range, he would swing until he would either hit me or get hit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's where you make most of your money is like you have to find those openings. Yeah, and that's the, I think that's the problem is like I couldn't find my openings. I don't know. It's like 
I just wasn't confident enough in a lot of those situations to like challenge it because like I think there was a lot of situations where he would like mash a bunch of tilts on my shield that I probably could have beat out but like I wasn't familiar enough with Kirby to like want to take those risks so yeah. like I would just sit in shield and just like try to reset but um, I know for next time at least yeah. but I mean the g game 5 was like I think definitely the most important game in the set because I had a lead. I had like a two stock lead, but then like he inhaled me like at the ledge and went to walk off. And then when I got out, I tried to air dodge the ledge and I missed. So I died at like 20. Uh, yeah. And so I it went from what should have been like a clean win for me to a last hit situation. Yep. Yeah, because DK with rage, it's like you gotta make the That's most out of that. You know? mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You just, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I didn't have rage. Oh, yeah, he's right. But like, you know. You have a full stock lead. If if he's making a comeback, it's like mm -hmm. I feel like with DK and Kirby, you're always gonna be trading. There's a lot of trades. There's a lot of trades, you know. So it's like you know, DK always wins those trades because Kirby is just so light that if you trade with back air or straight air, it's kind of like Kirby was flying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, not to mention invincible up air. Invincible up air. Invincible up air. Invincible up air. <laughs> is it? It's yeah, incredible. DK's like head during up air has intangibility. Oh. Yep. It's fucked up. Yeah. It's mad. So you know like, you got Kirby floating up here and DK's over here sharking below the platform. I'm sure you guys played like, PS2 the whole freaking set. Did you not? No. Oh, actually, no, we played actually. like a game or two on town. Yeah. Which I wouldn't go to that stage again against him. Mm -hmm. I would rather take Kalos, yeah. I think. Yeah. But you know, Kirby's always just floating up here, so DK, what's he gonna do? Yeah. Wait for your landing and then just yeah, it's like I, I pretty much just have to wait for the landing because if I were to like try and go chase him, then I risk getting hit by stone. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. So the other <laughs> the other <laughs> set that happened in Winter's side was was uh, Jake Seth and uh, for the first. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah, I'll talk about it. All right. Uh, I lost a set for the first time at an SFSU event to an SFSU. <gasps> player. Well, to somebody who's been to more than two tournaments. Yeah. He lost. Yeah. I've lost to not Gary. I lost to Byron, which was like that was forever. That was, that was forever. That was, that was, that was uh, almost three years ago. Yeah. Wow, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's been that long since you lost. Yeah, yep. And then I lost to Gary who was like ranked, ranked in the He's ranked in the I was like, guys, what do you want from me? You know, and he and he plays Mario, so it's like it was a recipe for disaster. Yeah. But um no, I lost to Seth three one was the set count. Um, mm -hmm. It was Mario Doc the whole time. Yeah, it was just like, it was definitely me lacking and just not, you know, playing the game for a while. <laughs> taking and, like, it too easy, taking maybe. It, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, because every time I played Seth, it was always just kind of like, he gave me rough my money, but uh, the longer the set went on, I feel like I definitely did better mm -hmm. and, like, adapted more. Mm -hmm. I just didn't adapt very well yeah. against him. Against him. Uh, I would, like, try and wait for his nares because... These Joes look good. They love to mash. <laughs> yeah, they love to mash some option on his stun, and a lot of them it's Nair. Yeah. Um, definitely Seth with K Rule and. Uh, oh yeah. With K Rule and sure. Doc, and like I would try and wait for like the Nair to come out and then punish it, but then Doc Nair lingers and I would get hit by it, and it's right. doing even more knockback now because it's lingering. And it's like I just wasn't prepared for it. I yeah. think. Um, yeah. After the set, I just kind of stood up, and everybody was like, "What happened?" And I was like, "I don't." He just kind of beat me. <laughs> like, 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 there's nothing to it. He just kind of beat me, you know. Like there, there like there's no, there's nothing like crazy that happened during the set or like any real reason for it. Like he just no, he just straight up he won. Yeah. It's not like it's not like he, he dumpstered on me either. Yeah, it's like oh, I mean, it's three one hundred. He beat me pretty good, but like three one's pretty good. But the game them, themselves, it wasn't like I was struggling. Like oh my god, like, what do I do? It's more like oh okay, I probably could have executed that better. Could have done right. that more. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely overextended my combos too much. You know, you, like. I, I think my combo's gonna work, but I'm like maybe one or two percent like too early trying to go for like an extra up air or an extra nair. And then he gets his move out uh, first and I'm just dying. Yeah. Know? Or like I'm taking more percent because like I'm stupid instead of like going for the easy stuff and then backing off resetting, which is probably better for me in that situation because like, I don't know, Mario neutral over uh, Doc neutral just seems a lot better overall. Yeah. Uh, I would really just the then. speed. Mm -hmm. I mean the speed, yeah, it's crazy. It's a, I mean, yeah. It definitely is enough to make that a lot in your favor, but yeah. Yeah, I also didn't up B as much as I should have against him. Mm -hmm. uh, cause like obviously, you talk about like like Doc up B is like one of his best moves. It's one of Mario's best moves too. But like 
you always talk about Doc Up B, like Pill and Up B, or Up B had a shield to kill. But Mario Up B is so stupid, he doesn't need it at all. <laughs> no. And it, it's just like, every time he would land on my shield, I would always just try and go for the top air, or like try and shield grab. And then he would spot dodge every time. Yeah. It's like, man, this is what it feels like. Yeah. So well, because, because the Mario Up B doesn't kill, doesn't get used as much, or get talked about as much, but mm-hmm. no, frame three option, that does not belong on Mario's kit. No. But I mean, it's it's so it's so broken. I mean, like, literally, you play against like a fox or any other character who mashes on your shield. You up B every time. There's nothing they can do. Yeah. So it's like against Seth, I probably could up B more, and honestly, it would have put me in a way better spot. But he got it. He yeah. got it. Uh, All right. Yeah, and then that set up for me and Seth in winners finals, which we'll get to later. But we have to talk back about to that losers bracket. That losers. also set up. Dear God, I'm so so mad about this. <laughs> me and Jake and losers for Isn't fifth. For up? fifth place. That's Remember when you guys were ranked one and one two? two? Yeah. yeah. Pl- now you're playing for fifth. That was what the fuck happened. That, that was the most fucked up set of the whole tournament. I'll say it. But we talked about losers. <laughs> That's <laughs> what, what happened. Seth happened. <laughs> Seth happened. So oh. me and Jake. So when first off, when me and Jake sat down to play, I was going all Donkey Kong's tournament. Average sized ape. Average sized ape. Average sized ape. So. And um, Jake sat down. He said, and uh, he said, "I said you want you know we have, the rule is for those who are not super aware. You always start PS2. That's just how it goes. Everyone always asks if you want to start PS2. Some people strike, but nine if times you're I, weird. You strike. If you're weird, you strike. But I nine just times, I just don't care that much. No, same, same. <laughs> I just don't care. Same. A lot of people just will go to PS2 because they don't care, and it's a universally good stage for pretty much everybody. Like there's no bad side to it." Especially dog. What are you looking at? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. <laughs> and, and, oh, I'm going to DK sandwich right now. Yeah. 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 Anyways. So Jake says, I'm going to go Marth. And I said, okay, that's fine. Yeah. So we started off DK Marth. He won game one. And then ran it back. I won game two. Mm-hmm. Bay says, I'm going to go Falcon. And I said, okay. He ran it back. I barely squeak out and win game three. So I'm like, okay, I'm feeling good. And he looks at me and he goes, <laughs> he, he looks at me and he, you know, like, controller in hand, he just goes, I'm going Mario. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went, yeah. okay, okay, that's fine. And then he, then he wins game four and game five. But they were decently close, I think. Oh, uh, no, for sure. Well, for which game was close? Because game four was a blowout, I think. Game four, you messed me up. I think game four was a blowout. But then, then game five was. Game five was but then game five, five you remembered what character you're fighting. Yeah. And you're like, okay. Yeah. I can't, I can't let I can't. him grab me. Yeah. And then there was the moment where uh, oh, I yeah. cape you, and it's like... Yep. Oh. And, well, you cape me, and you get punished for it. Yeah, it was just, it was crazy, because game five, I was, like, in a pretty comfortable spot. I was like, oh, I'm chilling. Like, I was off stage at, like, 80, and I think I was up a stock on you. Mm-hmm. And you were, like, I was, like, off stage trying to get back to the ledge. And um, I, like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and hit him with a cape real quick. And then for some reason you, you run at me while facing me. Like, I'm here, mm-hmm. you're coming at me. You back air this way, I cape <laughs> you, it flips around, and then back airs me at like 80 and I die. And I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like this is a game now. Like, oh my yeah. god. Wait, you know, what is wrong with you? Why did you back air in that situation? I, to this day, like, I have no idea why he did that. I do. Because... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yes, the capes there. No, no. what the capes there. <laughs> there would have been the safe option. The read. Yeah. The read. I no. But either way, um, Jake won game. Jake won game five. Mm-hmm. Uh, knocked me out of fifth, losing to Jake twice and Logan for fifth. Logan at fourth. Oh, sorry. Spoilers. I you know what? We're gonna talk about it anyways. I was trying to. Va- I know, I, but I was trying to justify your fifth place. No. Yeah, that's fair. Like, but it's still so messed up. That does suck. It's messed up, dude. And it, but yeah, I mean, I'm pre- overall I'm pretty. I, for playing like all Donkey Kong besides like one game, two games, I'm pretty yeah. happy. With you get, you did good, champion. I'm proud thank, of you. Thank you. I got Donkey Kong validation, so I, I appreciate that. So and now I know my Donkey Kong is 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 hot stuff. Anthony and I do not approve. This group is insane. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't get it. I can't, like Mario is the most normal character in this group. Isn't that crazy? Besides the, size the ones I play. Well, well, you play generic top tunes, but exactly. I guess that's pretty normal. As it should be. Yeah, as it should be, I guess. No, I my, don't know. My character, I can't is, adapt. my character is the most, like, somewhat different normal character. Like, no, you know, yeah. He's still, like... But he's still, like... Well, there's me when I play Byleth. Cool. There's, there's cool me that I play. DK's cool. DK's mad. Cool. I, I, he's fun when I play him. I, well, I did play Joker this tournament. 
That's true. Oh, we didn't talk didn't. about that. Oh, oh yeah, we didn't talk. We did not and talk about that. And the stupid freaking taunt war you guys had. Oh my god. Oh, yeah, that was so good. No, rings. Yeah. I taunted for like one or two games, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then he yeah. kept taunting the rest of the set. Yeah. And then I beat him, and he's like, "You taunted on me. No like, one taunts on me." And I was like, "Well, I just did. I did. I, I just did. I did. And yeah. I won." Shake my hand. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Please nah, 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 wait. I watched that set. Yeah, I watched that set. I you did. taunted him six times that first game. <laughs> Half of them weren't even taunts. You you did T bag into F smash twice. Um, and did it, but did he hit it? No. Oh, never mind then. Listen, the only close. the only taunt I approved of was when he was sitting in shield and you were like short hopping in front of his shield and like dashing back and forth. And then you just tossed it in front of him. And I was like, okay, that's kind of baller. <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was pretty sick. Pretty sick. But then, look how much control I have. Yeah, that's yeah. Great. Yeah. But then, then he like grabbed you off stage, and then he taunted, and I was like, oh, this is gonna be so crazy. Okay, the thing I I was already I was already clapped out of the set the second I saw Joker on the screen because I was like, what? What? Joker's cool. Because cool. he's not trying. Cool. It's like yeah, he's <laughs> he's trying, but it's like uh, hey, he he lab Joker against me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I practice. No, the thing yeah. that, the thing that, that doesn't practice Joker the most is like you'll do like the ballers, like you'll like short hop and dash around. And you're like, I'm just gonna taunt right in front of you, and you're not gonna do anything about it. Yeah, that's it's pretty like it's like like all right, that was pretty pretty baller. You can do it with these but then guys. he'll do like the most like in all respect to him, all respect to you, he'll do like the optimal edge guard and like get the kill, and then he'll taunt. And it's like the most sauceless, baseless thing, and he just taunts after. It's like, it's like, it's like, wow, you hit me with Patui off stage. Like, no, no, it's like we played. Whoa, because we played at Heat Wave three, and it was Bowser Rob, and I think I, I, I hit him with some sort of read. I think I read like a roll in and killed him for it, and I taunted, because you know yeah. I read your roll. Yeah. I'm in your head, and he hit me with like Bowser Bomb at one fifty, and then taunted after it, and I was like. Hey, but you thought about it though. I did. He was in your head for a second. Though. I did, but then I killed him like two seconds later. Won the game. Dang. Did yeah. you win the set? <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, let's talk about winners' final. No, wait. We haven't talked about Logan and Ryan. So oh, the way right. the bracket worked out is that so Ryan beat Gavin, and then Gavin. he was and then he had he was gonna play the loser of me and Logan, which ended up being Logan. Yep. So it was Ryan versus Logan, which was a run back from group stage, yes. which. I mean, they already played. There isn't a whole lot to talk about. Logan beat him again. Yeah. So I don't know what the count was. But so then that set up Logan and Jake in loser semis. You kind of messed him up. Not kind of. You did mess him no, up. I kind of. Yeah. Respectfully, yeah. you messed him up. Listen though, I was uh, I was <laughs> bless, bless you. you. Uh, Kobe's worried. <laughs> like, oh my god, you're here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Logan. I, I did pretty well against him because I, I showed up late. Sorry, guys. I showed up late. All oh, right. I showed. Up, I wasn't like super late. I was like five minutes. You're late. like five minutes late, but you were late enough to where you uh, walked the door and I yelled at you to play your set. Yeah. Top, you to get player player top player. Top player. Pri- pri- dude wins all these tournaments. Thinks he can show up late, and look what happens. He drops a set to set. Listen, we were gonna wait like an hour for Mason to show up. So I think five minutes okay, for you know, me is well, to fine. Be, well, to be and fair, you Mason know, didn't have to play until an hour after you did. That's also very true. Yeah, but then he also showed up or didn't show up and was MIA for an hour right. after yeah. his set. Actually, fair, fair, enough. Right. Sure. fair enough. He just played Joker. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. Um, I love the Mason Joker. I didn't camp enough to emulate him. Get on that. Can't more. Can't more. Come on. Shoot the gun. Shoot the gun. (laughs) (laughs) Just shoot the gun. There are times where I I hard come into the camera by 30 seconds. Like, holy shit, this does work. (laughs) It does. It's crazy. Isn't it wild? Yeah, but that uh, I got bored and I was like, you know what? This isn't fun. That's that's fair. If if boredom wasn't a real thing, this game would be dead. Yep, that's (laughs) all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Also, why I ate my ass. But I also think that would be the case for most competitive games. True. Yeah. <laughs> no. Falls. Falls? Falls. What, oh, Guilty Gear? Yes. God damn it. <laughs> we'll talk about Guilty Gear. Well, no, because then everybody would play Happy Chaos. Tekken's uh, different. Yeah. Tekken's a lot. The Tekken is very boring at the top level. It's all flutsies. 
We'll talk about Tekken and Guilty Gear another day. That's our other episode. So, yeah, loser semis, uh, Jake Logan, another run back from group stage. Jake wins it again, and so Jake's in loser's finals. So now Jake plays the loser of me and Seth. You go ahead and talk about it, but you go ahead. It's all you. (laughs) All you, Chief. This... uh, This is an important set, because this is, like, my best chance... To like be Grand's winner side. Yeah. Not just like first time SFSU or whatever, like first time ever yeah. in any bracket I've played in. Yeah. Not counting AM brackets, because I think I've been winner side Grand's of some AM brackets at weeklies, but anyway. And it was looking very favorable for me because I 3 0 Seth in pools. Yeah. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot. About yeah, that. I 3 0 him in pools, and then we played in winner's finals, so I'm like, okay. I should I should be fine as long as I'm just like staying focused, not doing any dumb shit. I did some dumb shit. <laughs> I did some <laughs> but I, I didn't watch that set. No, it went it went game five and I honestly I don't even really remember anything notable that happened like leading up to game five. Like Game Five is where it all happened. Like, game five is where it all happened. Yeah, game five is where it all like was going right and then went wrong. Oh, very fast. But like, I think the main like difference that made it like go to game five is that like this set was when he really started edge guarding me. Yeah. Like, I think that's the main because like obviously, like two weeks prior to this tournament, there was like the Siena Heights tournament where yep. uh oh you where we went to that white and then also Seth Logan and. Gavin went, yeah. and yeah, I played Logan at that tournament two weeks prior, and I beat him pretty good, and then now two weeks later, definitely did his homework, because I think, like, the main strategy that these guys had coming in, especially against me, mm-hmm. playing Donkey Kong is off stage play, Yeah, because that's mainly where I was getting fucked up at. Mm-hmm. Like, Seth would, like, grab me at the ledge at 20, instead of, like, doing, like, a down throw, going for guaranteed stuff he would throw me off stage and go for an edge guard and it would either work and I would get back a reset or whatever or I would die. Yeah. Which that swing a lot of them take a lot of games, I think. Yeah. But I still feel like I was playing overall well. And then went to game five and then by game five I had adapted pretty well and I ended up having a full stock lead. So like it was, I had two full stocks. He had one full stock. I was at zero. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah, yeah, yeah. the camera's frozen. It's frozen. Yep. I just. Hey, All right. We're back. All right. So we had to cut there, but anyway. So it was game five. Me and Seth. I was up a full stock on him, and then next stock we played, I think went pretty even. Like. He was at kill percent on his last stock, and he ended up taking my stock first. And so, it was Seth at kill percent, and me, like, starting my last stock. And I saw the finish line. I was one hit away from beating Seth and being Grand's winner side, guaranteed second. And then... I just started dash attacking, dude. So I started watching back the set. It's so painful, Ooh. right? Cause like, I I like I tried to like stay focused, but like, there's a, like there's only so much I could do to like just fight the temptation of close it out. Mm-hmm. And so like, one dash attack, he shields it, gets a punish. Yep. Second dash attack, shields it, gets punished. Third dash attack, I think one of those dash attacks might have whiffed, but. Either way, like, every single option I picked for that whole stock was dash attack. Yeah. And then the last one he punished me for, he got me off stage, caped my upbeat, or no, he He caped caped my air dodge. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He caped my air dodge, and I went out too far, couldn't make it back. Good. Which was probably the most tragic ending to a set I've ever had. I think it was a zero to death last stock, right? Or, or like I don't think I touched him once. Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. It was crazy. Yeah. But like, yeah, my lack of discipline in like the most crucial moment of the set cost me. Yeah. So, 
like that loss sucked. It was probably like the worst I felt after a loss, but it was. I think it was important to but, learn from. But like I understand what you mean with the like seeing the finish line right in front of you. Yeah, right. Same thing happened to me too. Mm -hmm. Yep, we'll talk about that. Yep. But like um, then the feeling of like I'm so close. I'm like basically already there. Even though you're not already there, so you just right. Like, it's like in your head you're already there. Yeah, like, and like this is a problem I've had a lot is we're like I'm ahead and I'm close to like winning, but like I I just get complacent and think like oh I'm winning so I'm just gonna like keep rushing forward and like running them over basically, but that's not how that works. Yeah, like your opponent in these situations is going to play more defensively to avoid attacks. And, yeah, I don't know. I think next time I'm in a situation like that, though, I'll definitely be better prepared. The loss sucked, and I definitely think I was a better player than Seth that day, considering I took more games off of him in that tournament, and he still outplaced me, but... Yeah. He didn't do it when it mattered, though. It, yeah, it, it, that's it, true. It, I don't know. It, I mean, it's still frustrating to 3 on him and then lose like that. Yeah, I mean, sure. Who took more games off of Jake? At this tournament? Yeah. Seth. Seth. One more. One more. No. Oh, oh no, it's, he took a lot more. He took a lot more, yeah. He took, say. He took three. Yep. No, wait, no, he didn't take three. He took four. He took three. Took four. He took, he took, four. Five. No, five. took, took five. five. Took five. Five games. He took five. Out of how many games you played? Well, what's spoilers now? That's spoilers. <laughs> that is spoilers. That's spoilers. Now we can oh. talk about grands, though. We've got... Yeah. No, not oh, yet. wait, no, not yet. I'm sorry. No, 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 we had to play Losers Finals. Hey, I have hey, no right to be wow. saying this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even hear wow. so like to be. Should have opted in, man. That's crazy. It is. Should have opted, opted in. I got no reason. I should not. I was there. Can you see me? I, I mean, he does look there. Oh, oh, he's yeah, right. He's yeah. right. Yeah. He's correct. It's all calculated. Yeah. <laughs> it was all planned. He knew. He knew. Yeah. So, me and Jake played in Losers Finals, and before that set even started, Actually, we did uh, winners finals before Logan and Jake played in semis, so mm -hmm. I had a little bit of time. But like after Seth set, like like after me and Seth played in winners finals, I was like, okay, if I go into the set with Jake with the mindset I have right now, I'm it's gonna be bad. Like I won't stand a chance because I was like I was angry, and like I knew if I had like. All those negative emotions going in that set it wasn't gonna go well yep so like I, I literally for like the whole a uh, time that Jake and Logan were playing I just like put headphones in close my eyes and just breathe yeah because like if I did not reset my mental there I was not going to win and I was able to like actually after that I felt a lot better and was like ready to get back in and I think we had a pretty good set I was gonna say like when we play you seem like you're just like his normal set yeah, I was playing. There wasn't any like anger or anything. It seemed um, like I, I, I was just like sticking solid to my game plan that I had going in, and like wasn't deviating too much for it or like doing anything too irrational. Mm -hmm. So like, I'm happy that like even after that loss, I was able to like kind of like hunger down, like focus on the next set and just keep moving well it, it's nice because like you you have that obviously like the whole mentality switch which is like super good future reference but like it was also your first tournament trying out the new play style yeah uh, which is there's also, a lot of, there's a lot of new things I was trying out uh, which I think paid off mm -hmm. I, think, I think in the future it'll definitely be something that'll like actually uh, once like fully refined and you know fine-tuned or whatever it'll actually like make a huge difference in terms of uh, like set outcomes and game outcomes and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Or more reliably take sets of people mm -hmm. with that game plan. Because, like, DK is obviously, like, DK, like, anything good yeah. yeah. But there, there's a lot of, like, fundamental, uh, like, neutral tools that you can use, like, kind of down beating stuff, mm -hmm. which you didn't utilize before, like, at all. But now it's, like, a part of your game plan. Yeah, like, like now, now that I, like, because obviously... Like, I played a bunch before this tournament. Like, I've been grinding tournaments. So, like, I've been playing around with, like, a lot of different things. And, like, at those weeklies. And, like, just feeling out, like, what works, what doesn't work. Mm -hmm. So, it definitely wasn't, like, fully refined by Summit. But I feel like after that, like, I'm heading in the right direction. Definitely. Yeah. And, I mean, 
it, it was a 3-1 win for you, so, like, not, like, super close set at all. Didn't go game five, but, like, in terms of, like, how I felt I played, like, I was feeling like I was going in the right direction. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, like, yeah, and, like, even I knew that, like, you were on a war path, so, like, you weren't, you were going to take no prisoners against me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I definitely was, especially because I was hot off the, the Logan set, right? Mm-hmm. So I was feeling good, like really good. Yeah. Um, like I feel like I played like exceptionally well versus Logan. Uh, in terms of just like you know playing solidly and doing like the right thing at the right times, but also like going for reads. My my read like you got a lot of reads against him. Um, yeah. Now that I think about yeah, it, you did. Like when uh, I watched back, I was like, oh my god, yeah. how many times does he forward smash his American air dodge? Yeah. 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 Out his shield grab and. Yeah. Or like, oh my god. That I, I love that moment where I'm just like standing in front of his shield, but like just far enough outside of his grab just range. Just far enough. And then he like yeah. whisk grab and I. Yeah. That's how you know I'm playing well. It's oh, like yeah. going for reads. When, like, when you do shit like when you just stand there and forward smash somebody in front of because you know what like they're what they're going to do and their timing is like, oh fuck. Oh, he's in. He's, he's, yeah. he's going on. It, was, yeah, he's and on. it was a quick set too, so I like. Yeah. I, like, I won solidly and I just hop right into the next one. And I was like, I was feeling good. Yeah. I knew I knew it wasn't going to be a wash because obviously our sets are never really a wash. Um, mm-hmm. That's just the nature of two brawlers going at it, you know. Yeah. Uh, but no, I felt good. I think I just I didn't mess up my execution stuff one hundred percent. And if I if if I'm executing my combo as well, like that's just like that's just the bear. It's yeah. just like the bread and butter stuff. Like mm-hmm. DK yep. gets destroyed by that stuff. Um, so yeah. All right. Overall, who said? Yeah. So now we're going to reach the end of the tournament grand finals. Jake on loser side against Seth, winner side, and. Do we even have to talk about the first set? The first set didn't happen. <laughs> first set didn't happen, bro. I'm. I'm. It I'm, happened to me. It happened. Okay. To, it happened, <laughs> it happened to me. No, it happened to Seth. We, oh no, yeah, right, right, right. So the first set, in the nicest way possible, was over, and I think five minutes. The Maybe whole set? Five, six minutes. Six minutes, probably. That probably is a, something like that. the worst ass whooping I've, I've seen I've, in a grand finals in, in my grand life. Finals? Yeah. That was worse than you and Gary. Yeah. Yeah. That like, was pretty bad. Straight up. Yeah. It was, and we love Seth, but he got his ass beat. And it's just crazy. Like, you would never believe that you lost to him. He, no, beat, he beat me 3 1. He 3 1 me. Yeah. With how dominant. Mm hmm. The reset, or not the reset, but like the first set the was. First set, yeah. Um, so yeah, I don't first know. set was quick and easy. I, I was just playing hot, and also I've noticed like Seth in between his actual like sets, he doesn't really play. No, in he between just sets, he, he just kind of sits there on his phone or like talks to uh, other Jonesville guys, mm, um, which is fine. Which no, I mean it's fine. Like, yeah, but I can't help but think like, as you know, because as I said, went on obviously. And yeah, um, he started. Like, more well 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 play better. Because, like, you would just come um, off of playing two sets, so you were, like, already, like, in the mindset to play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's a trade off. You're in winners, you're just chilling, doing whatever, and you're obviously comfortable with. You have two more sets to lose. But if you're in losers, and you're making a run throughout the bracket, it's like you're playing, 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 playing back, 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 back. Yeah. And you're yeah. actually, like, you know, you're fully focused and in the game the whole time. Right. Yeah, for and, sure. And also, like, I don't know if he. If Seth felt this way too, like, maybe he thought, like, he had a set to give up, so maybe he was, like, Okay, maybe I won't like come out swinging or try super hard to win this set. I'll just kind of like see what he's doing and try to formulate a game plan for the reset. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, which is a totally solid strat. Right, like yeah. that's a pretty big advantage I have winner side too. Is like even if you lose that first set, like you can still gather some data from it. Yeah, because that set for me is the tournament. Yeah, right. That set for him is like he still got a shot. You know. Yeah, that's right. A safety like, yeah. Which he he made it count. Yeah, I feel like momentum's so huge though. Like, oh, I would love to see a statistic of how many times if the if the second the everything gets reset, second set happens. I feel like the loser almost always wins. It's kind of weird. Yeah, like a lot. It, yeah, for sure. Like, the Nova. The Nova. Oh, she's right. Oh, no, no, She looks like she wants to bark. Don't. Do it. Let it out. Don't. Do it. Oh, okay. She's cool. Right, right. She's cool. Big chill. Cool. 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 Cool.
Maybe that it's a pod- podcast, Haley. It's a podcast. <laughs> and you're not welcome on. Dang. This is my house, bro. I just this is my, my room. Well, you can take my spot. Anymore. Just put this hat on. Just put the hat, damn. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, no, but like, I, I can't think of any. I guess it's happened before, but like, anytime we're like, one guy wins the first set, resets sets it, mm-hmm. and then the other, the winner side dude just wins the second set. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't happen that often. No, no, for sure. Momentum is huge, dude. Oh, it's yeah. like, you're right. It, it feels like it's always, if if it, if the first set's a three zero, it's not looking good for like the second. Oh, it's set. a three zero. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Um, so the first set was a three zero in my favor, which I was like, oh my god, I felt so good. I was playing so confident. I was just like, yeah, it's over. I felt like it was over in that moment. Yep. The second I won the first set, I was like, oh, I win the tournament. It's over. Yep. Um, and then the second set. And the second set. Happened. Well, <laughs> well, it's important to note he played he played Doc all three games of the first set. Yes. Um, and then he went Doc the f- first game of the second. First set. game of the second set, and then switched to Incineroar game two of the second set. Mm-hmm. Um, but you won. I was up two zero in the second set. Yep. You were about to six zero. I was about to six zero right away. Um, and then and then game three happened in the second <laughs> set. We don't talk about game three. Listen, <laughs> for the sake of today, we will. Listen, I, yeah, I don't want to talk about it, but. I, I have to. Oh, I thought it was a It should have yeah. been a 6 0. It should have been a 6 0. Yeah. And it would have been way cooler if it was a 6 0. Would it have been cooler if it was a 6 0? Yes, yeah. absolutely. It, you would have asserted. The rest of the dominance. set was too close for my liking. You would have asserted dominance. Yeah. Um, game three of the second set, I was winning solidly. I think I was up two stocks. You were up like two stocks, yeah. Um, and God, I hate myself. I hate myself <laughs> sometimes. Because when I'm up and I'm feeling confident, there's a difference between confident and when you're up by so much you get cocky. I got up so much that I was cocky. Yeah. Um, and I was just, I was like, I know what I want. I want to go for a weak nair into like up smash or some stupid Like little, a fox player. Like a fox player. You yeah. wanted a fox him. I started like, oh, I want to do it, I want to do it. And I thought I was beating him so bad, like, there's nothing you can do about it. Because like, he was at like 130, 140, right? Um, he was, he was, he was maybe less. Up. He was he, up, but he was up there, though. He was up there a little bit. Um... And I was at like sixty on my my second stock, mm-hmm. and then you know, gets me, kills me, and I'm like, oh okay, I still have my stock, it's whatever. Yeah. Um, and then he like grabs me, does like a bread and butter like down throw up or something like that, gets something me like to like that. a mid like a middle percent, mm-hmm. and then I'm off stage and I'm recovering super lazy, and he side beats me off stage, and he. He like does the finisher move and it mm-hmm. kills me at like kills sixty, like like, yeah. like sixty, like, like super low percent, or like super low percent, yeah. And then I was like, oh wait, I, I just lost that game. I was like, yeah. Oh, okay, whatever. He bans. We went, we went to FD game three. Mm-hmm. Um, and I run it back. And then you ran it back. Yeah. Uh, and I ran it back. You ran it back. It was the salty run back. Yeah. Guy. I had to. <laughs> yeah. My, my brain, I was like, oh my god, he got lucky. Like, I could beat him on FD. I'm going to beat him on FD. Uh, game four. You did not beat him on FD. I did not beat him on FD. I did not beat him on FD. I was like, Okay, time to the counter pick. Yeah, all right. Um, For real this time. I forgot where we went in game five. What PS2? I mean, PS2, PS2 yeah. best games. Yeah. <laughs> PS2 was best games. And it was closer than I wanted it to be. Um, it was last stock, both of us, right? Yeah. 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 Both last stocks. I was sweat. It was a scary last stock. Because, oh, I remember this too, because it's you that like kill percent. Yeah. And I was at like zero or 10% or something like that. And then he grabs me and does like a down throw up air. And then he reads my double jump, or he like reads my recovery off stage. And then four days me off stage, I have no double jump. Yo, and he, he could have, and he went for he oh, whipped it down air, I think. Well, he went for he thought I was gonna recover low and just like drift, mm-hmm. but I upbeat early and went on the stage, and he like ran off down air. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, dude, if I didn't do anything, like I was dead at like thirty. I, you know, yeah, like, actually, I think I, I've had a, I had a certain situation against Logan game five where I did an early upbeat that saved me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. like literally won me the set. It, and it, it seems like such like a scrubby option, like, you know, you have little Tim in the controller, he's like, well, I want to get back on stage, and he up, he's up in the top blast zone, yeah. you know? But it's like, no, because like nobody in, expects that. Right, because in, in their mind, when you've recovered low the whole game, mm-hmm. they're going to go to recover the low recovery, so yeah. you go for the higher, like, earlier recovery, and they sense. don't see it coming. Yeah. And I, I'm, a, I'm a low recovery. I always recover low every Same. time. It's like, it was so close. Um, I did end up winning. <laughs> Really funny that you guys 
he says same when he plays Donkey Kong. There's nothing I can do, man. You have Donkey to Kong has room. to go to Lake. He has to go to Lake. That's what I do. Uh, but it's insane. And then I recovered <laughs> high That's true. when I could. That's true. It's, uh, it was a close game five. Shouldn't have been close. I still... Oh, my God. Yeah, you're right. It would have been cooler if I 6 would him. I thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. After it, I was like, oh, I had to make it like I had to make it close for the spectators, you know. I'm yeah. sure, but you guys were the spectators. You guys were like, no, we you should have just freaking yeah, six them. The spectators <laughs> wanted a six zero. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm done doing like going for the stupid like we because I looked back at like my old sets versus Seth, and I did the same thing versus set too. Right. Like because the, the, the sets I like beat them super quick. I think we have, we've had like super like six minute oh, sets yeah. in the past. Yeah. Um. I would go for the same thing. It was literally the exact same thing. The full hop, weak nair. Full and hop, like, weak nair. It's not even that it's a bad kill option. It's just that you, you're fishing I'm for only it. only going for yeah. I could kill him any way I wanted to. He was at kill percent. Right. Yeah. But the fact that I was like, I want this one. This one. Right here. Because I, I, I want him to be put in a tumble into a tech chase so I can read his, his roll. Yeah. Because yep. well, uh, I had his roll habits down the set. Not to mention, you were trying to hit landing there with Mario up. Against the king yes. of landing there with Mario. Oh my god. It was it was bad, but But you got the dub. It felt good. Yep. It felt yeah. really good yep. to, to win that because Jake won. SPC uh, Summit five from losers. From losers. For the first time ever. For the first, the first tournament where the losers guy does it. But and not the first it was not the, the first losers. tournament where this guy does it. So no, we still have to wait for the day where someone else yeah. takes a tournament off. Yeah, and I I'm I am pissed I'm pissed that Seth is the first one to take the set, but he's not gonna be the first to take a tournament. No, I can no. tell you that now. Like, uh, like he will not be the first to take a tournament. Yeah, big ups to him obviously for doing it. Yeah. No, I mean he he played solidly. Um, yeah. He caught me off guard. And it's not gonna happen again. I'm, yeah. done. I'm done slacking. Yeah. yeah, I'm done. Yeah, big respect to him and Logan. They played super well. Yeah. But. Uh, Never again. Never again. No. Never again are you going to have a close set with me. Can't Never let again. These, can't let these Jonesville kids. It's our, it's our town. It's our town. It's our town. This is Summerfield smash. It's Summerfield, not Jones. Jones. Yeah. This ain't JFSU. Doesn't have the same right to it. No. Okay. That, was, All right. that was Summit 5. So now that, that's Summit 5. What else do we have in store for the people this year, Alex? Um, six. A tournament. A tournament. Summit six. Summit six. Yeah. Summit yeah, right now. Yeah, back to back. <laughs> Poor, we're on a run back now. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, um, so, the, the event we had planned, uh, SFSU Legacy, which our plan was to get together, not everybody, but close to everybody who's ever been to one of our tournaments at one tournament. A large amount of individuals. There's a lot of, there's a lot of like important people that like aren't able to make it. And so I feel like holding it now, like the tournament wouldn't have the same like importance that I would want it to. So we're gonna hold off on that kind of tournament for a later date, and we're still gonna hold the tournament like same time, like same basic. basically same event, but we're just a definitely different in a different name. Yeah, because legacy should. The reason it's legacy is because um, it's. It's it's about like everybody that's ever like, been yeah, to the event. yeah and we're trying to make like this whole like like, like this is the event to go the to event. You know? yeah, this and is the event. if oh important God. people to like our you know like community and stuff mm -hmm. can't make it then it's like is it even is it right. even legacy at really, that point yeah. is it really even what we want it to be no yeah. it's not and honestly it might even be more fitting for like next year because next year we'll make five. Would five. it be five years? Yeah, because that's if it started winter 2018. Winter 2018, so that would have been five what? years. Five. So yeah. that, honestly, it worked. It kind of works out perfect. It does, it works out So really hof well. hopefully things will be able so, to come together next year. If you're listening, you register now, and you you clear your schedule for, for uh, December 17th of 2022 and wherever we run Legacy next year. Right. We'll work it out. We'll work it out. We could run a Legacy bracket. Like, Legacy bracket. Everyone has to play their first main. Oh, oh no, it's gonna be full of Kirby's. <laughs> <laughs> right. No, first ultimate main. First ultimate main. First ultimate main. Oh, I have to play Yoshi. Wait, Wait what? what? <laughs> Wait, well, you didn't know about this? Wrong, good. No. I gotta play Mario. I'm Mario. 
I got yeah. Yeah. This bracket, well, yeah. <laughs> I'll pick Link. Because I was thinking about Link, Link at first. All right. You did play a lot of Link. I did play Link. I think I'd be Polly, though. I don't know if I'd be. I'd be Martha I Richter. I'd be one of the two. Martha. Martha Richter. I'd be one Please play Martha. I'll play Please. Martha. Alright, I'll play Martha. Richter, I don't want to. Oh, you're, you're, you're so You don't want to play my Richter? Knows. No, you're not. Choose right, Christy, Doug. What? Oh, God. No. Uh, uh, wait, was, for a while, my. The, when I had. Oh, my God. I think I'd be King Carol. No. Alright, no. Nope. Well, Sorry. scrap well, that idea. Well, 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 he was it. my highest. Well, thanks uh, everybody GSP for watching. I could play all along. Well, no GSP. shit, he was your highest GSP. <laughs> it's K Rule. I don't know how to play the game, and I was like, whoa. Well, of course, yeah, yeah, you didn't even know how to play the game. You, all you didn't know how to yeah. do was throw his crown. Crown and narrow out of hit stuff. Dude, you had one hand on the A button, one hand on the B. Not on glue. That was Pally, that was Pally. I swear. Same thing, A button, glue. Yeah, exactly. Nothing changed. Exact same thing. Yeah, I. Until someone taught me that you can punish an error. <gasps> Whoa. No. I didn't know no. that oh until I played God. Jake. No. He came over for that one tournament. War in the Woods. War oh, in the Woods. War in the Woods, got, baby. My house got invaded and they and that's punished my Palutena. Listen. Hey, he's been back ever since. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> stuck around. He stuck around. What a guy. I saw oh. playing Palutena mid bracket. He's like, I, he's you like, put, I play Pilot. You put me in losers. I played Lucina against Mason. I beat him with Lucina. I forgot you beat Mason there. Mason's then, evolved, though. And then I played Brian. And did you get Incineroar? I got messed. Ooh. I was worse. No, but I, I disagree. I, 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 yeah, yeah. disagree. I was, uh, no, I think it's I don't mind worse. playing against Incineroar, to be honest. I mean, at, the, at the time of the event, I probably would have agreed because I didn't think Incineroar was a huge problem. But yeah. But Incineroar was a problem. Incineroar <laughs> <Incineroar's laughs> no, He's a problem. Now. He's a problem, yeah. God. But no. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Um, or is that it? What else did we miss? Like, Summit, like, see. It's been a year since. It's been a year. The time skip. The time skip. Yeah, the time skip. So really, it, it really I feel like there's yeah. not a whole lot of time to cover not everything, really. but like, basically, so I guess, I guess important things about the season right now and how it's going. Jake's lock number one. Yep. Definitely. This is your PR sneak peek. Uh, Seth and I think are still currently in the race for second. I would say so. I so would say you guys are still racing. Second, first. like second and thirds between us two. I think fourth and fifth are between you and Ryan right now, Wyatt. For sure. Yeah. And I don't think there will be much deviation from that. I think Logan. Logan's locked in number six. I think. Really like I think Logan's pretty good for six. Wait. I can't see him doing anything more or like doing anything Unless less. Unless he has a crazy oh, he has a somewhere. Somewhere. Good. You're gonna have to do something. I think. I still think. Think something crazy that to happen because of how like we've had so many tournaments this season that like at this point it's gonna be hard to change things. Yeah, it's it's just crazy because um, you know obviously we have like Logan, Gavin, um, you and Ryan. It's like so many differing like results and stuff. Right, like, like, like the the balance is definitely changing a lot. Yeah, it changes every year. I mean, like last tournament was last tournament. Gavin got third. Yeah. Yeah. This tournament. He went from getting seven like yeah. every ev- tournament this season to third, yeah. and now he's back yeah, in seven. Back in seven. Yeah. And it's like, well, you can't discredit that third just because it's like. But the but one also one out of the seven. So but also, it's like, is that third like notable enough to like bring up his total ranking? Because like, yeah, like one good placement is good, but it's like, how does your consistency? Mm stack up with everybody else's yeah um, like gavin's peak may have been highest but like he's had one big peak and then like all of his rest of his results are like yeah like way lower than that so yep. like how how do you rate that exactly yeah it's important to look at uh set counts too set counts are important yeah. set counts are going to be crucial oh like, yeah. a- after this next tournament in december we gotta do some math and set and counts are gonna like everything yeah. like decide almost everything i mean but i think the gist of which is pr right now is top five is pretty locked in. Top five is locked in. Two and three are being contested. And two and four three, and five are four and five. interchangeable yeah. as well. Yeah. I think but Logan's pretty locked in for six. I think Gavin's pretty locked in for seven, maybe. Yeah. Eight and nine would probably be between so Mason and yeah. I don't think <laughs> anything's beating my consistency right now. I think I've gone 0 and 2 the past three tournaments. Dang. I mean, if you think about it, some of you went 0 and 1. And then. No one's ever done that before. No one's ever no, done that before. Gone on three. I've gone 0-3. I've gone 0-3. That's not true. Four, that and then, if I think that's more impressive. <laughs> and then 10. <laughs> number 10 is probably even more up in the air. We have no number idea. Number 10 is mad. I mean, then you have know. that that gap. Yeah, because like, like, yeah. the gap between 9 and 10 is like... 
it, it's, it's, it's a sizable game. And then we also have some PR contenders this season yeah. who probably won't make it because of lack of attendance. Mm-hmm. Like, there's, a few have could, data. there's a few who could remedy that, but for now it's, for looking, now, like, it's looking it's like, like honorable mention. Yeah. Um, so, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. But I'm telling you, like, we're, we're talking about this right now, but anything could happen in the oh, tournament and happen. just completely, like, swap. Yeah, anything you know? could happen. Yeah. Um, like, me winning. Like, that'd be huge, yeah. Obviously. Yeah, you might even bump up to fucking if I, top, no, top, top, top two and top three. Two, yeah. Listen, whoever whoever wins, okay, if, if one of you guys, it was not me, wins the December tournament, then that's, like, notable enough to, like, bump you up to top oh, three at for least, sure. I feel. Yeah, for sure. Right. Because that's the first um, place nobody else has. Yeah. Besides you, obviously. Well, I mean, that's what... That's I feel what, like, like winning, winning the tournament, I think, is huge because, like, the whole goal of for everybody in the tournament is to win. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so your placement reflects how close you got to that. Mm-hmm. Um, but I mean, like, yeah, head-to-head is huge when looking at, like, the placements and stuff, which is why, like, like you and Seth, obviously, are, we're looking at you guys for one and two. Because, mm-hmm. um, like, I mean, if you look at our results right now, we're, like, pretty even for results. Because, like, I think we have, like, it evens out, outplacing each other. And so, like, it would really come down to set count, and uh, I'm not going to say the set count because I don't want him expecting anything to happen. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Uh, but yeah, Seth has a has a me win now, he which does. is which, which is like who who knows how we should weigh that? Because mm. like, even though you do, he does have the win on you. Like, how many wins do you have? on him, right? Yeah. yeah no. Like, you still, like, far and away, like, have the set count, but it's, like, if there's, like, some set counts where he, even though he has a win on you, are there other set counts that he's losing? I was just gonna say, yeah. it's important that, like, you know, it's all about balance and weighing each win over the other, and each loss over the other, and, like, you know, you can have one win over, like, a really good player, but if you're losing sets to people that you shouldn't be losing sets to, it's, like... Again, consistency consistency is a huge thing, right. Right? and inconsistency is really gonna hurt you in the long run. Cause like, you know, you might have a Jake win, but how you doing against Ryan? How you doing yeah. against Why? How you doing mm-hmm. against Alex, Anthony, Mason? Because you know? at the end of the day, like to even get to Jake, you have to get through everybody get else. Somebody. Yeah, you gotta get through somebody yeah. else. And if and if you're like not consistently getting through everybody else, then you got some work to do. Yeah. Well, I think. That's that's about it. Right? Unless anybody's yeah. got final thoughts. Um, I think we. I don't. I don't want to go off on too many tangents because we don't no. want no. this episode to be too crazy long. Yeah. Because I feel like we've already talked for quite a bit about quite a lot. Mm-hmm. Which is good considering it's our first one back. Mm-hmm. True. But um, Here. no, we'll, we'll have more to talk about in the future. Oh, for sure. We yeah. have a lot to talk. Yeah, about. more more to talk about next yeah. week. Yeah. Too. So. Anthony, as, as our guest, I think you should give us a, some some closing thoughts, some closing remarks, or some words of wisdom to the audience. Uh, I've gotten negative character development over the last year. All right, you, you love to hear it. I went from you guys mixed my whole box era. So I went the box era. I went I went to it every turn of my box, and I went back to Pro Controller and my old character. That's true. So nothing's happening. Nothing. Oh. I mean, we're back to square one. Back to square one. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. stuff happened, but we're back to we're back yeah. to the beginning. Yeah, I think I think we're going in the right direction now. So yeah, I think things are only looking up from here. Yeah. Well, I think that's it. Right. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. thanks for watching. Thanks for listening, everybody. Welcome back to Bear the Bottom, the Boy, season two. We're back. Season, season two. two. We're back. Season we, season we can two. call it season two. We can call season, season two. We're back. What should we do with this? Who are you with this show? See, mm. season uh, two. Like I, this, this is the main problem that I've thought of when like bringing this back is like it's been so long. We didn't do that many episodes. It's gonna be season two. It's gonna be like more of a soft reboot. Yeah. So stick with us as we reboot and get sorted and get down to it. Well, but we don't stop after. We went for a good weeks. while. We went for a good while last time. I think we're we're starting it back up at a good time though. Mm-hmm. I feel. Yeah. Things are sure. things are starting to wind down a bit. There might be a time where, we're, listen, guys, I don't think we should hold ourselves to the standard of every week. Because yeah, that we can try. We can well, try. We'll try. We'll try. We'll try our best. But um, whenever we get a chance to, and it's convenient, we'll do it. We'll do it. Um, yeah. We'll try and be consistent with it. Yeah. But 
We know how that went last time. We know how that went last time. We, we, went, yeah. we, we were doing good for a while. We were doing good, we were doing for, a good for a while, but and then it just yeah then it stopped. Uh, the big thing is topics. To talk about. You know, I mean, we have our tournaments, obviously, which is like really good for yeah. us to talk about. But then that only happens once a month. Yep. And then there's stuff else. Then we have like, it's like we have tournament, and then like three other things we need to talk about. Yeah. Like things we have to decide what to talk about. So we'll, we'll brainstorm. Most of the, we'll, we'll, we'll brainstorm. We'll branch out. We'll talk about some stuff we haven't talked about before. And maybe revisit some things we have talked about because opinions have changed. Opinions have changed over time. Yes. Tier list. Uh, do we want to do the tier list again? I, like I do. Oh we, oh, we have to. We have to. Right. It's been a year. That's like True. the generic slash very... podcast topic is tier right, list. Tier list. Right. And oh, I probably have like. Oh god, I had like Steve in like high tier probably. What the hell? Yeah, we got we got we got Kazi was like a yeah. high tier. And also yeah, hopefully. We gotta go back. And also, hopefully, in future, more guests. Yes. Yeah, more guests. guests. More guests. If you want to be on the show, Jesus. Sorry, that was really loud. My bad if I peeked the mic. If you want to be on the show, if. reach out. Let us know. If. Yeah. If you have questions or topics you want us to talk about, let us know. Right. And also, if he wants to come back, we might have Anthony back on we more in the future. We Anthony back. Mm-hmm. <laughs> a fourth guy. A fourth B is a always appreciated. The B B B Oh my gosh, realize. B B B B. It's a bear. It's a bear. a bear. Here, it's for you. This is me. Can I see it? The bear. Can I see the bear? You can have him. Be gentle. <gasps> Be gentle. <laughs> God. D- oh. What the- Thank you, everybody, wow. for joining us. That's a good note to leave off on. Thank I you don't think that's a good us. note, but we're gonna leave off on. A bear! Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> People who are just like listening to this are gonna have no. There's no fucking context. clue what's going There's on. There's no context for the people just listening. But you know, that's the purpose of catching our YouTube and subscribing. Yeah. That's the purpose of YouTube. We upload all of our tournament thoughts there. We upload the Bear the Bot the Bull. Hang on. Let me get the actual name oh. of the YouTube. Oh. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah, I think so. But so yeah, I'm going to make sure. Yeah. But we don't want them to go to the wrong place. No, 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 so no, we we're, not, we're not missing. Summerfield You're Smash cool. Ultimate yeah, on yeah, YouTube. You heard it from the man himself. The, this is where you can find the podcast find our tournament sets and that's basically it. Yeah. There you go. You can have the bear. And then also my child's over there. We'll probably put this up on Spotify as well. Oh for sure. Mm-hmm. On Spotify. So just Under the Bear about the Boy. Under the Bear the Bob the Boy on Spotify. Uploaded by Wyatt. Myself. Wyatt Tipping. That's you use my government name. Government name. Government name. Government name. <laughs> Everybody's gonna know. Well, your government name is Eversize D. Oh you're right. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Well, well that's well, it. Thank you guys for, for the realest time. For real time, that's listening actually. and or watching, and we'll see you next time. Oh, it's bedtime. Bedtime. <laughs> yep, bedtime. Bedtime. There. Peace out, folks. Farewell, everybody.